And once I know what it wants to be, then I work to try and bring out as much potential from the music as I can. But it's almost like it, it, it defines itself, it reveals itself to me, um, rather than me forcing something onto it. I don't write music whereby I plan out a structure and then I throw in sound. I don't write music whereby I plot out all the notes and all the harmonies and then put that in. It's a very, very different sort of process. When I paint, I very often paint in series. I may paint three or four paintings at once and use similar processes for all of them. Um, but all the paintings will become distinctive because at some point they will reveal who they want to be, what they want to be, and I will go down that road. Now with music, I tend to recycle my musical material a great deal. So for instance, let's say I've written three pieces that have come from the same sort of musical material. One can be for oboe and piano, another for clarinet, cello and piano, another for string quartet. And I want to write another piece, and I may take the line from the clarinet piece, the oboe line from the other piece, and two string lines from the quartet, and then I'll put those together as new layers. And I will work them and see what happens, see what the chemistry between them is. They may be at different speeds, they may have different moods, but in combining them, they all become something different because the context within which they're presented changes again. And I like to think of that in terms of genetics. It's a bit like you can be a mother and a father and you produce your children and your children then marry and they produce grandchildren and aunts and uncles and all the rest of it. But the genetic material is passed all the way through. And then you can bring grandchildren back with parents. And you can see some of them got similar eyes, similar chins, similar behavior. So musically, it's as if you're creating a big pool of genes in an original work. And then as you write other pieces based on that, the genetics go into the other pieces and they become characters in their own right because of the processes that are used in, in creating them. But then at some point it's really quite interesting to bring them back together again after they've been on their individual journeys and then start recombining them again. So they have all that history and all those characteristics being individual pieces, but they're also genetically linked. When I create things, I, I, I have a particular feeling or a particular mood, but the work that I produce isn't necessarily reflecting what I feel at that time. And it's the same with the music. Sometimes when I write a, a piece of very, very calm music, I may be very frustrated and agitated about something in life. And sometimes when I write a piece of music that's completely off the wall, um, chaotic and wild, I'm feeling very calm and very settled. Exactly the same applies to the paintings.